a sequence is defined recursively as follows. So a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times a sub n minus 2, or another way of thinking about it. The nth term is equal to the n minus 1th term times the n minus to n minus tooth term with this with the zeroth term where a sub zero is equal to two and a sub one is equal to three. Find a sub four. So let's write this down. So they're telling us a sub zero is equal to two. And they also tell us that a sub one is equal to three. So they've kind of given us our starting conditions or our base conditions. Now we can think about now we can think about what a sub 2 is. And they tell us that a sub 2 is going to be a sub 2 minus 1. So that's a sub 1. It's a sub 1 times a sub 2 minus 2. Well, that's a sub 0. So a times a sub 0. And they already told us what a sub 1 and a sub 0 is. This thing is 3. This thing is 2. So it's 3 times 2, which is equal to 6 is equal to 6. Now, let's move on to a sub 3. So a sub 3 is going to be the product of the previous two terms. So it's going to be a sub 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's a sub 2. a sub 2 times a sub 1 times a sub 1. So it's equal to 6 times 3. 6 times 3 which is equal to 18, which is equal to 18. And then finally, a sub 4, which I will do in a color that I'll use it. I'll do it in yellow. a sub 4 is going to be equal to a sub 3, a sub 3 times a sub 2. So four, notice 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. So times a sub 2 times a, we've been at blue color, times a sub 2 which is equal to 18, 18 times 6. 18 times 6, which is equal to, let's see, 6 times 8 is 48, plus 60 is, or 6 times 10 is 100, 108. And we're done. A sub 4 is equal to 100 and is equal to 108.